What's up, Cosmic Gang? Whole lot of gang shit, next dimensional stream shit. We are here. We are in the building. We are making it happen. We are in aligned. We are manifesting our true desires, wishes, and everything else out here. So, I had to download the spirit yesterday. And it was crazy because even last night. So, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I'm going to pull out my little tarot cards and we're going to do a little reading right now. Okay? Spirit directed me to do this reading for the collective. So, this is a general energy reading. Um, so, clear this energy. Thank you, uh, spirit guides. Thank you, higher self. Thank you, lower self. Shit. We're going to align the self with the self, right? We're going to get this popping. So, so right now, I might, I might just pull these tarot cards and that's it. I'm going to try and make this quick. I'm not going to keep this on too long. But, dang, my cigarette. My cigarette done fell. I don't even need it right now, for real. That's probably why it fell. Um... So what's been going on right now, what I've been, the downloads I've been getting, is that there's this great energy that y'all can work with right now that's really going to help you begin to align your own energies at this time. That gray energy is real strong. It's real powerful. It's real, uh, it's real sublime, but it's actually this dark and light energy coming together as one. And in alchemy, the gray wizard is the most powerful because they know how to use and also it's the middle path and all that other stuff and it's using these energies to your benefit for your best alignment so let's see what we got for our first card and you're going to be aligning this darkness and the light within yourself and then if you go further into the darkness it's not dirty human darkness it's actually um, cosmic darkness and that's where you're going to be able to actually shine your brightest light so we got queen of cups so this is a general energy reading once again for the collective. Um, so whatever sign you are, um, it should, you know, whatever whatever you are, it'll resonate. But this is heavy, uh, Aquari uh, not, I don't know why Aquarius is coming up for water, but it's coming up. Because uh, Aquarius is the water bearer. That's why that came up like that. So the Queen of Cups is emotional stability, going within the self, dealing with spirit, dealing with your intuition. So you're going to be aligning right now your higher self and lower self that's what the collective that's the advice from spirit is, a, is aligning your air so your voice and your water energies let's see what else we got on a, on a beautiful beautiful day today i got page of wands reversed but some people want us uh, are rushing towards manifesting a certain intention and you rushing, you rushing it. So you got to slow down a little bit. Because the page of wands reverse is like, you still have the gift of growth. But it's going to be more depth than growth you're going to see right now. Because certain energies have to separate from your field. You know, from your energy body. From your consciousness. In order for you to have the growth that you want. So that's going to be what the, the difficulty is at this time. Let's see what else we got here. Yo, I feel so at peace right now, y'all. I feel so in alignment. I feel so... I have so much harmony, so much balance in myself. Oh, we got two of cups reversed on what I just say. So that's the same thing coming through again. So the two of cups reverse is aligning with the page of swords message. Uh, so it's going to be a separation of energies as opposed to a coming together. So you're going to separate some old energies at this time as opposed to coming together. So let's see what else we got coming up from spirit. What spirit got for us? Spirit, what you got? Spirit, come through. Fire yourself, come through. Ashe. Ashe, all set. Ashe, segment. Ashe, um, shit. All you motherfuckers. Ashe, Haru. Ashe, Osiris. Ashe, Het Haru. Ashe, um, Archangel Uriel. Ashe, Archangel Michael. Ashe to all the angels. Ashe to Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel's coming through heavy right now. Shit, even I shaded the Orishas, and I don't even fuck with the Orishas, but I shaded them because they're ascending right now in their energy. And they're becoming a lighter frequency where you could actually work with them even more. Look, right now you're gonna have the clarity, the gift of if you remember every so every ace card is a gift. So you're gonna have the gift of aligning 
your thought. And I'm feeling like it's the thought or the mind aligning with the heart. So instead of all this separation, see the separation is coming through in order to bring greater alignment within the self. And you see how there's these mountains at the bottom. So it's like dealing with rocky terrain. Mountainous terrain is going to the mountaintop. It's going, it's, it's having that, 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 that moment within yourself where you're like, I gotta, I gotta go to the mountaintop. I need isolation. I, but it, it's gonna bring you a major clarity of thought. You're gonna be ascending. That's what it is. It's ascending. Ashe to the Christos Negros. Ashe to Santa Muerte. Ooh, the sun in reversed. Some people are having some inner child blockages. And Spirit is asking you to clear your trauma from your inner child. Because the inner child wants to be upright and wants to shine. And so the sun card is coming out reversed. Heavy spiritual energies right now, y'all. Heavy. I'm going to try to keep this to like 15 minutes. I'm not going to make this reading super long. But this is what Spirit had directed me to do today. Um, I actually just got out of a reading King of Pentacles reverse, so there's going to be major, well, this has been coming up as a major theme anyway at this time, so there's going to be some major instabilities, but in all the chaos, there's going to be opportunities, because you have clarity of thought still coming through, but if our King of Pentacles is reversed, I mean, Spirit's asking you not to be stingy, not to be greedy, and not to not to operate in your lower human nature in regards to your finances, because that's actually going to get you fucked up out here right now. You got to learn how to turn that energy inward and manifest inner stability, inner strength, inner fortitude. Yeah, that King of Pentacles is real. All right, let's see what else we got here from Spirit. As far as uh, this crossroads energy, because it's a separation and a uh, Knight of Wands, see? You still have the gift. Like I said, you still have the gift of growth. You still have the gift of... Um, he got the salamanders on him. He's dealing with fire, heavy Sagittarian energies coming through on this card for me. Um, and you see in the desert, when it seems like there's nothing, as you're aligning correctly the self with the self. And remember that we nourish our higher self just as much as our higher self nourish us. So what we do in the human realm actually is still spiritual because we're going to be nourishing our higher selves. So he still has the gift because he's got that wand and it still has some greenery on it, but he's rushing. So that rushing could be your could could be your downfall. Some of you are being directed to actually take action at this time. Take action towards what you want to manifest and what you're passionate passionately into and about. Um, because this, yeah. All right, let's see what spirit has to say in regards to this card. I want to pull one, another one. Let's see what else we got here, baby. So right here we got the star card. See, and that's alignment. Star card. And that's the that's why I said Aquarian energy, because the star aligns with Aquarius, it's the water bearer. So it's heavy of uh, Aquarian energy right now. And um so sorry y'all. So through taking right action, you're actually gonna be able to align the self with the self and align the higher self and lower self and also um this is being in being grounded this is being grounded and being your in your intuition at the same time that's fine i'm about to be done this is gonna be quick I'm about to... this is a quick little message i wasn't trying to make this video long all right so let's see what we got here and then we got the King of Wands. So, yeah. And that's Leo energy coming through, checking in. Aquarius checking in. Earth energy checking in. Um, water energy checking in. Dealing with the emotions. Hey, what's up, Sonia? Um, so, the King of Wands is coming through. Is really staying in your power and creating stability around what you're passionate about. So, yeah. That's the message. Uh, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to close this out already. Just quick. All right. Ten of Wands in reverse. So right now, some burdens are gonna you're gonna want to be letting go of any extra burdens, any extra uh, spiritual, physical burdens, uh, healing, um, family trauma, healing the DNA within the family. You're gonna be healing um, a lot. It's gonna be letting. It's almost gonna be feeling like you're getting a weight off your soul. 
that's what it is it's getting a weight off your soul so that's it for now y'all i just wanted to come through with a quick message because a lot of people are experiencing that crossroads sort of energy at this time and it's going to really bring you into a new state and space within yourself it's really really important to stay in alignment with these energies so i love y'all i'll talk to you soon peace